Hello, dear friends of the internet. It is me, Edward, and today I am going to show you something really cool. I bought a server to do some testing here in my home. It is a rackable server, as you can see here, that I'm going to create virtual machines using Proxmox on. But there's something really cool about this server. I was thinking, hmm, I'm going to have to leave this server on when I go to Colombia or Chile or wherever I go and I have it on for a month at a time, eating up all of that electricity and costing me a fortune. But the truth of the matter is, I can turn this server on and off remotely. To access my home network, I keep this old Asus EEE 4G Surf netbook running. It has no hard drive and consequently uses almost no electricity. I can connect to my laptop using a passwordless SSH connection. The laptop runs a script in CronTab, which updates DNS dynamic org, so even if my router's public IP changes, I can still connect. Now let me demonstrate how I can remotely power on the server. Use a standard network cable to connect your server's Roamer IP power management system to your router. Your router will assign it an IP address. Once you've connected to your Linux box, you can telnet to the IP address that's been assigned. Use port 10001. Control shift 6 and then a question mark will bring up the menu. The letter P turns on the server. Are you sure? Yes. And there it goes. The server just turned itself on with a little help from me. It's reporting what the BIOS would show. In fact, what's on the screen over there is also what's on my Telnet session. To exit out of the Telnet, use Control-5 and then quit. My preference for turning off the server is to do an init zero on the operating system that is actually running. So to do that, I do an SSH to the IP address. And I have to be root. And then just an init zero. That should turn off the server. There it goes. So that's how I turn on and off the server when I'm away from home. I don't have to use all of that electricity. This is really great. Thanks for watching.